the others, which the other disciples would never dare raise before their master. Yet there was Thomas who put his heart on his lips and questioned Jesus, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? To this, Jesus exclaimed, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Brothers and sisters, sisters mostly, this was a revelatory response from Sun God, from the Sun God of who he is, of his very own divinity. Do take note that this was brought to the fore all because of the inquisitive, spontaneous Thomas. According to Bible commentators, Thomas's expression of faith outshines all others in the four Gospels when he professed what was in his heart, my Lord and my God. In the first reading, St. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, describes what we have become through the grace of God. He said, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are members of the household of God with Christ himself as the capstone. This paints a picture of an ideally cohesive faith community, one that manifests the presence of God in the world, a far cry from the fearful, dispirited one in the gospel. Mind you, Thomas did not doubt the resurrection. Neither did he put a question mark over Christ's ability to work through the imperfections of his fellow disciples. At a closer look, Thomas must have found it hard to believe the testimonies of his peers who seemed to be weaklings. How could he lay his trust on these cowering men who chose to stay behind closed doors? How indeed could he, when they were even headed by no less than the one who denied Jesus three times? Brothers, sisters, do you think Christ could be present through such a leadership? And do you think Christ would want to be present in such community? Yes. Thomas could easily have abandoned the group out of disappointment and frustration. This disciple's own experience may actually mirror our own humble stories of discontent, of our possible lack of patience as we try to make sense, to accommodate, to give allowances to the limitations and shortcomings of others. In our context today, we look at everyone, including ourselves, not only at our family members or members of the Mother Butler's Mission Guild, our church in general, but we look closely at the very society we live in. In fact, this lack of faith in the persons or in a particular system could be expressed with no filters towards those concerned whom we know too well. My dear sisters, difficult it may be, but just like Thomas, we too have to learn to recognize God's transforming and healing grace. Let us let go of our doubts. Let us let go of our judgmental tendencies. Instead, we should never doubt 
that the power of God is ever powerful. We should dare not doubt that the power of God cannot be constrained nor restrained by human frailty. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Today on the Feast of Saint Thomas, we are all invited to trust and not to doubt. We are invited to trust how God's grace can truly transform us, how God's grace can work through us despite our sinfulness, how God's grace can make us heralds and bearers of the good news to our brothers and sisters. Amen. With faith in the risen Christ, whose wounds are the signs of his victory, let us bring our intentions to the Father of mercies. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Eucharistic offering, we may experience God's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dearly departed members, Rosie Valencia, National Advisor, Emilia Corpus from Baguio, Priscilla Masilungan from Bataan, Cristina Bautista from La Union, Pasita Damiano from La Union, Chit Feria from Manila, and Trining Lainez from Virac, whose lives of service enriched our church and community. We beseech you, Lord, to welcome them into your kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of life and the grace to experience, even in the midst of a pandemic, all the emotions and the wonders this world has to offer. We pray for the birthday celebrants this month of July. Mary Lou Albert, Ching Kaluag, Corito De Claro, Twini Junisho, Menchu Marcos, Lulu Recto, and Monina Rivera. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of the Mother Butler Mission Guild, may we deepen our commitment to live the greatest commandment to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbor as Jesus taught us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our bonds friendship, that they may be strengthened at this time of pandemic, which unites us in prayer, shared worries, laughter, and tears. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as we make our intercessions, deepen our faith that like Saint Thomas, we may love and adore your son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Root of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the breads of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts may be received by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my dear sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle Saint Thomas, and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their forest here. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly, into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Of me. Jesus, my friend. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of God's faithful people, especially those gathered in this Eucharist, the Mother Butler's Mission Fields. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially all those whom we pray for in this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now in confidence, let us call on God our Father as we sing.
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ, keep us safe to everlasting. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Water from the side of Christ. Wash me, passion of Christ, give me strength. Hear me, Jesus, hide me in thy wounds, that I may never leave thy side from all the evil that surrounds. Thy wounds. 
Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for the cure of COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumsort, pray, pray for, for us. Let us pray. O oh God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God bless and keep you. May God smile on you. May God show you kindness, fill you with peace. And may God bless you. Father, Son, and Spirit, may you always love and serve, filled with God's peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. And stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Act of consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus and Mary. Most sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary I consecrate myself and my whole family to you. We consecrate to you our very being and all our life, all that we are, all that we have, and all that we love. To you, we give our bodies, our hearts, and our souls. To you, we dedicate our home and our country. Mindful of this consecration, we now promise you to live the Christian way by the practice of Christian virtues. Without regard for human respect, O most sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary, accept our humble confidence and this act of consecration 
by which we entrust ourselves and all our family to you. In you we put all our hope, and we shall never be confounded. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, be our salvation. Amen. Amen. Prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you? whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek, if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us, through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, Strength when burdened with trials and light in doubt. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You shall, you have only to will it, to will it. And my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you. Through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Prayer for the Beatification of Mother Marie Joseph Butler. Lord, you have given us an example of heroic consecration to your service in Mother Marie Joseph Butler. Show us that she is worthy of veneration on your altar and fill us with the burning aspiration of her life to serve you alone and all your people for your sake. Amen. Amen. 